Piano Banana 2 just dropped and it's by far the best image editor and generator on the market. Take a look at all these images on my screen. They are 100% generated with Nano Banana Pro. Here's a little overview. Now, forgive my voice. I'm sick. I'm muffled. However, my AI avatar will not have a problem presenting to you today. In this video, we will cover how to create high fidelity, uncensored images, fake photos of yourself, scene continuity, character rotation and 3D, character consistency, emotion and character design, ID generation, logo generator, editor. I'm gonna show you how I turn my CAD designs into photography, cooking recipes from a single image, how to measure any objects with Nano Banana and generate phenomenal posters. Nano Banana Pro is Google's new image model, an image generator. It excels at graphics, likeness, posters, diagrams in multiple languages. And there's many other interesting use cases that we will explore today. It has quite a large visual context window. It allows you to upload up to 14 reference images for styles, guides, logos, or character sheets. And you can generate images up to native 2K and up upscale them to 4K. To put things in perspective, here's an image of Nano Banana 1 on the left and Nano Banana 2 on the right. You can definitely tell the difference. It can memorize a face or character and generate that exact same person or likeness in 100 plus different scenarios without their face morphing. It uses chain of thought processing to think before it generates. Okay, enough said. Let's get into it. You can access Nano Banana Pro 4K uncensored inside Enhancer AI by going to Tools and Image Editing and selecting Nano Banana 2. You'll see it already selected by default. This is the editing model. If you want to actually generate images, you can head over into Quora and select Nano Banana 2. Now, of course, you can use Nano Banana inside Google Studio. However, it will give you lower resolution images and censored outputs. Now, let's get into it. First thing I want to test out is generating uncensored images. I'll give it a very silly, simple prompt. I will say a photorealistic image of Donald Trump and Taylor Swift operating a chaotic hot dog cart in Times Square during rush hour. Smoke is rising, crowds are cheering, Swift is flipping hot dogs with sunglasses on. We will select the 4K resolution in a 16 by nine aspect ratio, and we will hit generate you're gonna wait about two minutes. The 4K option actually takes longer because it upscales your image. It does not generate them natively, as we said. And boom, this is nuts. Look at this. This is crazy. It does look like Donald Trump. It does look like Taylor Swift. Let's do another one. I'm gonna say a whimsical photorealistic shot of Kim Kardashian and Albert Einstein riding an oversized glowing swan boat through the canals of Venice at night. Paparazzi camera flashing. Hit generate, that's insane. <laughs> Look at that, that's funny. As you can realize, you can mention celebrities' names. This model has a very accurate understanding of the world because it does have a large context window. How about now we can create a meme with Elon Musk. I'll use this prompt. A meme format photo of Elon Musk placing a banana on a launch pad labeled Bananex. Cheering engineers, Countdown timer is stuck at zero. I'm not giving it any more context. I wanted to actually make it funny and, and think about it itself, right? I'm just describing the setting, but I would let Nano Banana actually make the meme for me. Well, let's hit generate. Boom. This is kind of funny, but again, very accurate. Let's take a moment to appreciate how sharp the text is. This could be an Arial, Helvetica, I'm not quite sure. You can also see that the added grain and the accuracy of Elon's likeness is quite good. And here are a few more. I asked it to give you a meme about Ariana and Cynthia's weird online relationship. That's all I said. And look at this. It delivered. This is so funny. It's crazy. From one single prompt. Doesn't just generate the likeness, but it understands the context. It does make it funny. It understands what is happening. These are uncensored images. Now, the second use case is generating a fake photo of yourself. As we noticed, Nano Banana Pro excels at generating very accurate images of someone's likeness. So this time, instead of using other people's likeness, I want to try it with myself. 
Since I'm not a public figure, I have to give it context and provide it with an accurate source image of myself. Because if I say generate an image of Serial Barati, quite sure it's not going to be able to do that. We're going to head over to Tools, Image Editing, and in here you can upload your source image. I will use this image of me at the gym. I want to look more jacked, okay? So I can motivate myself to work out more. This is not for me to put on my dating apps at all. So I will simply say, make me look jacked. We'll select 4K just so that we have a sharp image and boom, before and after. Look at me go off. I wish I looked like that. Now, here's where it gets crazy. I can ask it to add me anywhere. So I posted this image on my social media with a goat. This is fully AI generated with Nano Banana Pro and no one was able to tell. Here's the source image and here's all the generations. It is very simple. In order for you to get extremely realistic looking images, you need to feed it a source image that feels like the output that you want. That's why I chose this one here. I wanted to place myself in a mountain, right? Cold, snow. So I looked for an image that had a similar feel to it in terms of colors, and of course had to be an iPhone selfie. If you feed it an iPhone input, it will give you an iPhone output. So whatever input you give, it's gonna give you a very similar output as well. So I added this prompt. I will not read it out loud because it's too long, but you can pause or screenshot it. I use GPT 5.1 to help me write it. Paste this with my source image and hit generate. Easy, very simple. Prompting is everything here. Since Nano Banana Pro can quote unquote think, the source image becomes the most important factor that you need to consider to optimize your outputs. Now there's another way you can do it without actually prompting your ideas. You can use source images for better references and more accurate outputs. However, the downside of that is that sometimes it might morph the two images together. This is a picture of Daniel Dallin. I want to generate a similar one. I try to prompt it as you remember and I got this. Now, what if I wanted to have the exact same angle? Mood, camera lens, background. I cannot just prompt that. I can get very close to it with prompting, but it's not going to have this visual understanding of what I see. In this case, we can use Daniel's image and upload it as a reference alongside our own selfie. Uh, we're going to drop Daniel's second. And in the prompt section, I'm going to ask it to place the man from the first image into a background and setting that closely matches the second image. Do not merge, blend, or morph the faces or identities. Keep the man's original likeness exactly the same. Only replicate the environment, lightning, mood, color palette, and the overall atmosphere from the second image. This is the prompt. You can screenshot it. Select 4K, hit generate. This is what he came up with which is good. I would not necessarily recommend it for use cases that utilize likeness because it's gonna morph things. But other than that, it's quite good. Number three, scene continuity. Something very interesting that Nano Banana Pro can do is that it can create continuous scenes from source images or text. Take a look at this image of Taylor Swift. This is completely AI generated. It's text to image. In every single frame, the dress, as you can see, stays perfectly consistent. You have the same cut, the same sparkle pattern, the same fabric reflections. The outfit never drifts, it never wraps. If you look at the hair, we have the same length, we have the same shape, we have the same standard direction. This is the prompt I used. Again, you can screenshot this. We copy this, we paste this over into our input section inside Quora, and this is what you get. Essentially, now you can create consistent storyboards. So I went ahead and created a full scene with Taylor and the banana, but you can do this with any character or idea. Another interesting use case that follows from scene continuity is character rotation. You can create consistent rotation of any character, fictional or real, or any of your use cases. This is an example of a fictional character over here. Very cool, very clean. The source image on the left and the generation on the right. This is the source image and you have a 3D version and a realistic version of my likeness being rotated. Of course, different prompts. Character consistency, emotion, and character design. Something that Nano Banana can do is that it can help with emotional consistency and character design. These are some images I generated of my model that does not exist expressing different emotions and having different hairstyles. Think about this. You could create a cool AI app if you were like a barber or a hairstylist to show your clients before they get a haircut. Something that for sure has helped me out here is that I've 
have fixed the AI skin with Enhancer's V3 model. Here's the before and here's the after skin fix. Um, and Nano Banana keeps that intact when regenerating images. And I believe that Enhancer V3 plus Nano Banana's consistency does create a killer combo. So yeah, you should try it out if you're a creative professional that is obsessed with portraits. ID generation. Okay, this is a very scary use case in generating fake IDs. Take a look at this image. Yeah, we get it, right? It's a fake ID using my likeness. But what's strange about it is not the fact that it's able to do it. We understand that Nano Banana is able to achieve results like this. However, when generating this image, I only provided my full name, my date of birth, and a source reference, and it spit back an ID that resembles my countries. I'm Albanian, but I never told it I was, which means that Nano Banana is most likely pulling info from Google as its reasoning. It grabs whatever it finds online to build a hyper accurate result, contextualizing your prompt. That's why I believe it's also good at recreating celebrities. My theory is that beyond the training data, Nano Banana is scraping public images of celebrities and using them in real time. So when you run text to image, essentially, generate an image of Taylor Swift. Their back end is basically using the same edit logic on any public available image of Taylor Swift, and it connects it to your prompt. And I've talked about this, I did investigate and found that Google might be using this real time data in addition to training weights when generating likeness of celebrities. And it's actually very interesting. This was my meme, of course, that you saw that generated by Nano Banana. But if you Google Ariana and Cynthia's latest interview, this is what you see, this is what you get. So that's very strange that they do both have the same health. I also asked Nano to generate an image of Ariana Grande today. My prompt is generate an image of Ariana Grande today to see if it would reflect her weight loss. And this this is what it gave me. That's very, very interesting. So after further investigation, I found that Ariana Grande was wearing a pink dress at the premiere of Wicked, which was this one over here. You can read my entire thing on Instagram if you wish. The link is in the description. Logo, generator, and editor. Now back to the fun part now. A great use case is using Nano Banana 4K to design logos or replace existing text. Here are some before and afters, which is pretty wild and you can only get to this quality if you generate in 4k i will make a dedicated video about this one very shortly because i do believe it deserves more attention turn your cads into photography for all my econ peeps for everyone that owns a fashion brand this is for you i had a friend ask me to turn his collection cads that he would send to the manufacturers into an actual render so the manufacturers could understand the product better on the left you have the sketch, the CAD, and on the right, you have the actual generation, which looks like a realistic e-com shot image, which is pretty wild. You can put this on your website today and no one is going to be able to tell that it's AI. This is another use case I would like to focus on separately as I'm testing things out for the best and most control outputs possible. So hit that notification button if you haven't to get updated with everything. Cooking recipes from a single image. Something cool I found out that it can do is that it can create recipes and steps on how to cook your food after you take a picture of it. Here's some sort of a fish that I tried the other day with my friends at a restaurant in Montreal. I took a picture of it and I asked Nano to create a step-by-step -step guide on how to cook it myself. Now, it might not be 100% accurate, but it's quite helpful for those who need visual aids like me. Measure any object. Another interesting use case that I found to be very useful that could be turned into an app is that you can upload an image of an object and you can ask it to draw its size. It will give you almost like a technical drawing of the height, width, and length of that object. You can do whatever you want with this information, but I found this to be very, very cool. Generate posters. You can generate posters of any style by using this prompt. Make the first image match the style of the second one by transferring the second poster's overall look and aesthetics onto the first image. And this is a few posters that I have created from source images. Insane. And these, my friends, are very few use cases of how and what you can use Nano Banana Pro for, again, to achieve the best results 
production ready because that's what we cover in this channel upskilling creative professionals to use ai to create without limits in this case you have to use nano banana 4k which is available through enhancer or your favorite providers check out enhancer.ai your support means a lot to me we've added a few new features such as v3 skin fix which is the best skin fix model out there freckle control professional retouching post transfers and more enhancer.ai you get live support from a real human and we just released api for our most realistic image model to date cora pro you can check that out too thank you for being here friend i hope that you learned something new today and if you did hit that like and subscribe button and turn on the notifications but something that i really want you to remember before you go about your day is that the real magic of ai is not what it can do for you but how it empowers you to do what you've always wanted to create without limits this is serious